Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. Now, if you've been around PlastiDip, you may have come across a dip job or two that just didn't look very good. Maybe it had some fuzzy texture, maybe it was uneven, and you may have thought to yourself, man, is that how a dipped car is supposed to look? Or maybe you dipped your car for the first time, you didn't really know what you were doing, and you had some of those challenges, and you thought, man, is this how it's supposed to look when I'm done? Today, we're going to look into the fact of whether or not it's the product or the person. Can how you spray Plasti Dip make that much of a difference in how it looks? We're going to find out today. Enjoy the video. Now here we have the DYC Mustang and the entire car has four coats of gunmetal gray Plasti Dip just to get the project started. Now as you can see, we split the car right up the middle and we've completely masked off the passenger side. We're going to first focus on the driver's side and apply four coats of Flex Blue Plasti Dip and we're going to apply those coats correctly, meaning wet overlapping coats exactly how you should in order to get a nice smooth and even finish. After that's completely dry, we're going to mask off the driver's side and focus on the passenger side. Now the passenger side is going to get four coats as well of the exact same Flex Blue Plasti Dip, however we're going to apply this improperly, meaning we're going to do a lot of the mistakes that some of the first timers may make. Now will both sides look the same at the end of the project? There's only one way to find out. Now the driver's side is complete. We got our four coats of Flex Blue down on that side. And remember, we used the correct techniques on that side. We followed instructions. 50-50 even overlaps, nice wet coats. We let it dry and we masked it off. Now we're gonna focus on the passenger side. The difference is we're not gonna follow instruction and use good technique on the passenger side. We're actually gonna make a lot of the mistakes that some of the first timers or DIY customers may make. For example, spraying too far away, dry spraying because your product flow is, is down too low, your overlaps are uneven. We're gonna spray that side that way and see if there's any difference at the end of the day between how the two sides look. Let's get to it. Now we finished up with the project and there is a huge difference between how the driver's side and the passenger side in this Mustang both look and feel. On the driver's side where we applied the product properly, where we did 50-50 overlaps, where we did nice wet coats, 
It's smooth and even to the touch. It's an even uniform blue all the way down the side of the car, all the way across the hood. There's no dry spray, there's no texture, there's no fuzziness to it. It looks and feels great, exactly how you would want it to look and feel if you dipped your own car. Now on the passenger side where we didn't do things properly, where we backed up too far, where we didn't have the dial for the volume turned up high enough when we were dry spraying, where we didn't have even overlaps, we've got some problems over there. We've got some unevenness. We've got some fuzzy and gritty texture. We've got some wet and dry spots. That's definitely not how you want your end result to be. There's clearly a massive difference even when you use the exact same product, the same color, the same gun, but two different application techniques. If you have any questions about dipping your car, it's very simple to get help. You can watch our videos here on YouTube. There's a link in the description box below which has a full step-by-step -step tutorial in first person on how to dip your car. Or you can email us, customer service at dipyourcar.com. You can chat with us directly on the website or you can call in and speak to somebody. The way your car turns out is in your hands as an applicator. And the, the good thing is, it breaks down to where maybe 25% of our DIY customers have it totally nailed down. They are experts. It comes out basically perfect. Then you got about 50% of the, of the average users who just do a great job. It's perfectly acceptable. And then you've got the lower end of the people who either don't do the research, don't look into it, or don't try hard enough and just hope for the best. And those are the people that we're trying to reach here today. That if you had some challenges on your car, it's for a reason, and there's always a way to improve. It's Fonzie. I'm going to show you some more pics and video of the car so you can check it out right now. I'll see you on the next one.